Shadu an la ilaha illallahu shadu anna muhammad rasulullah Awuzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillahi rahmanir rahim While we're getting set, set up here, there's a very short uh, PowerPoint introduction. I just wanted to say a couple um, introductory words about um, our event. First, I'd like to acknowledge uh, local Sadr Saab, Dr. Rahman, uh, of course, our distinguished panel and, and guests. And um, also a couple guests we have with us. This is being presented today by the National Department No Mobayin, or New Converts. Um, we actually have a, a local No Mobayin uh, with us today, uh, Brother Matthew Worth. I actually saw just joined us. Um, also, I think, I don't know if he's here yet, we also have a student, um, oh, Josh Miles, and um, another student, I'm sorry I didn't catch her name. Um, but they're local uh, university students who have contacted our Jamaat in the past few weeks and have been um, studying and doing some interviews with uh, some members of our Jamaat. So I just wanted to acknowledge them. Thank you for coming. So let me say a couple words about Mufti Muhammad Sadiq. If you don't know, and I think many of you do, um, a very monumental and important figure in American history of Islam. Um, this is a man who in the 1920s um, essentially on his own dime. This was not a time when the Jamaat was fully funded and we had missionaries um, being sent around the world, uh, boarded a ship and set sail for the United States of America to preach the true Islam. Um, on his way, of course, we've heard the stories that he actually gained dozens of converts on the ship with uh, so much time to spare. Um, and then the uh, authorities, once he landed, were a little concerned about uh, um, his intentions and his um, uh, activities, and so they held him up in a detention center. In the detention center, of course, he also gained dozens, I believe it was over 40 converts to Islam, and they threw him out of the detention center. So that actually uh, expedited his uh, immigration to the United States, alhamdulillah. So, um, you know, with a, a background in that, I just wanted to mention that because it's that mentality of finding a way, um, taking advantage of every opportunity, and in fact, creating opportunities where really none exist. You know, sometimes we might get bogged down in some of the things we might not have, uh, might have not have internet connection or be able to uh, text at a certain moment, but um, some of these early uh, um, members in the Jamaat who set out to spread the word and then of course, some of those early converts who came into the fold of Islam Ahmadiyya when there wasn't big, beautiful masjids built everywhere and, and a system of Nizami Jamaat that um, supported that and supported their growth, and um, a lot of that was done on their own. We set up that? Okay, so we're still working on that. Um, as far as the uh, award that has been put together, um, I believe it was started two years ago. The Mufti Muhammad Sadiq Award, which was uh, started by my predecessor, and he's also still part of the Department of Nal Mubayin, is Atif Miansab. And we've awarded this um, award to those converts and members of our Jamaat who not only were early converts um, themselves and have uh, you know, been an integral part of this Jamaat, but they've stood the test of time. And they have um, been through a lot of history in the Jamaat, and they've seen a lot unfold, um, and they have a lot to share with us. And this is why we decided to recognize them from this department, because for new converts, often there is a lot of um, trials, tribulation, um, ups and downs, um, estrangement maybe from family, um, different uh, cultural barriers, different things that um, get them off course. And we wanted to recognize those very special um, no mobayin who um, lasted, who basically developed their faith and then became strong, integral members and contributed uh, a great amount to this Jamaat and is one of the reasons we're sitting here today and spread all the way to the, the West Coast where we, not too long ago, didn't really have any members or any centers. And now we sit in one of the biggest centers in the world that we have, mashallah. Okay. Two minutes? I don't know if I have two minutes more worth of uh, material. Okay, so what I'll do um, is I'll start. Actually, I wanted to recognize one of our respected brothers 
um, who could not make it today, um, who is actually receiving the award, but due to health complications or problems he's having currently, he couldn't make it. He's actually uh, Brother Abdul Rakib Wali, who actually resides in Merced, California at this time. Um, he was born in Chester, Pennsylvania, so back east, April 17, 1932. He first heard about Amadeet in 1958 through a non amadi musician, which um, we had quite a bit of uh, musicians, you know, as early converts, especially amongst the African-American jazz community, um, and read Amadeet, The True Islam, which was written by Khalif Tulmasi, or our second Khalifa. Um, it was that book that led him into Amadeet. He signed by it in Boston, Massachusetts, in 1959. Um, Wali Sahib said that at the time of his bayat, he was unemployed and actually, uh, to some degree, living uh, kind of a, he called himself a street person, um, and said it was at that point and through Ahmadiyyat, it really changed his life and he decided the importance of education was a priority. Um, he went back to school, he finished high school, he had, actually didn't have a high school education at that time, um, and then wound up going to Brandeis University, where he majored in Mediterranean studies. Um, he also learned Arabic there. From there he got involved in community work, uh, started teaching English as a second language, and wound up uh, becoming a Muslim chaplain. Traveled the world actually teaching. He taught in Saudi Arabia, Nigeria.